Welcome back to the Dry Fire Journal. This is day 235. Yesterday, we talked about what we are attentive to and what we are aware of visually, and I used this pen to kind of show you how that works. And so today, this drill is not particularly sexy in that we can't really go fast or do anything cool. We're not drawing. All we're gonna work on, I'm gonna use a cert gun because I'm in a hotel in Indianapolis. Uh, but I'm gonna put my sight picture over here and I'm going to now take my eyes and move them here and watch as my eyes move to target, but my, but my gun follows and it's not snap and then snap. It is, I am now needing to give attention to my sight and be aware, attention to my target and be aware of my sights as they come to my target. So what I want you to think about today, whether you've got red dot, whether you've got irons, whatever your system is, <coughs> excuse me, as you transition, can you move your eyes to be attentive to your target while maintaining awareness of your sights. That means that your sights need to be moving quick enough and near enough to the thing that you are being attentive to so that you can still be aware of whatever sight system you have on the gun. I cannot tell you how to do this. I can only tell you that it's important that you do it. So, get to work today and transition left to right, right to left, high to low, low to high in diagonals and get in, in moving at the speed of discovery. See what it's like to be attentive and aware, attentive and aware and see what happens. I think you might be surprised at what your brain is capable of telling you through your eyes as you transition at the speed of discovery. That doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to translate at real time, but it is a principle that we can work on so that our real time transitions uh, become more fluid. And then I want you to think about this. If I'm, a, if I'm attentive of my target and aware of my sights as I'm moving, what does that also mean for what I can be aware of in my sights as the firearm recoils. It's really a cool process to go through. I invite you to try it out. Let me know how it goes and I'll see you tomorrow.